Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a early LEGO Harry Potter 2024 set review. Today we're looking at set number 76426. This is the Hogwarts Castle Boathouse, retailing for $37.99 USD or $49.99 Canadian. I'm so excited to have this. This was the set that I was really looking forward to with this wave. It is a first for lego harry potter i'm so excited to have a set fully dedicated to the boathouse this is super super exciting you got a ton of mini figures inside of this set and uh, you're gonna see here uh just some of the play features and different things but there is a new way to connect this uh, as well as there's one of the collectible portraits included in here as well so anyways let's go ahead let's take a closer look at this set so I gotta say, it's a lot smaller, I think, than I was expecting. However, it is very detailed. Like, it's a lot more detailed than I was expecting, which goes in line with what it says on the side of the box, that this is gonna be a part of the most detailed Hogwarts castle that we've gotten yet. And here's the boathouse, and just looking at the sort of shaping of it, the roof color, the rock face, the water, all that, I think this is gonna give you a good idea of what to expect with the future Hogwarts expansions that we're gonna be getting starting in the summer to go alongside these. All right, so I wanna start with the entrance. I love this a lot. I love the candles there. That looks great with sort of the torches on an angle. I think that looks nice. You've got a couple little windows here and there, and even just the slope piece here, the arch that that makes up above, but this plate here is so great, that flat plate. I like the, the masonry bricks being used here and the little bits of uh, the nougat, medium nougat throughout that looks nice. The leaves and different things. You've got, uh, again, this tree out front using the Rivendell pieces, which looks pretty great. I'm going to remove that just so you could see you've got a spider climbing up the wall there, as well as some two different types of mushrooms there. And then the water and the rocks, again, giving you a good idea of what to expect color scheme wise looks really great and uh the grass as well but this specifically this little fish jumping out of the water i think that's a fun little addition here for the set anyways though, let's talk about this we keep talking about the hogwarts uh you know expansions and different things well this is a new system you can see there's no holes here in the back for you to connect it to any of the past ones this is a brand new thing and these little clips are rumored to be able to connect to the uh, Great Hall that's coming in the summer. So that's pretty exciting. We'll come back to the inside in a bit. But yeah, over here, you've got, again, that archway, which looks really nice. And then you've also got uh, this little leaf there on the side. I just want to see. I don't think she can, unfortunately. McGonagall cannot actually fit through the door, which is a shame, I think. I don't know why some of these Hogwarts sets have been really small. Like if you watch the Owlry, You'll see I said the same thing there. So I don't know what's going on there. That's a little concerning. But you do have a crab down below. And then over here you have Hedwig sitting on uh, this rail, which I guess you could pretend is also maybe a bench or something if you want to have figures sitting there. But yeah, you've got some little flat pieces there. Not entirely sure why they chose to do that. Uh, but anyways, underneath there is this. Pulling on this sand green piece here opens up this little secret compartment, which has here Neville's frog, which is so cool to be getting in this color. I'm, I at least I don't think I have this frog in this color, so that's pretty cool. And uh, it's on this little clip, which you just slide inside to attach to that piece there. Very easy to do, just boom. And it just is very easy to detach and reattach there. I think it's important to look at the boats here because this is gonna tie into this next part. You've got the boats that uh, are able to fit a couple of different figures here. And I love the design for the lamps in the front. That looks great with that hot dog piece in black. And these are the exact same builds but you are able to take all of the students and you can fit them inside the boats, which looks really nice there. I, I don't know, just the idea that they have these two boats, they've got four students, I think is really great for the set. And again, ample room there for each of them. And you could even have them lying down, I guess, if you want to as well, taking a nap inside the boat. But this does lead me to looking at the inside here. I love all the little wooden log pieces there, sort of holding up the uh, the parts there for the boathouse, like from the water looks great. But anyways, the idea is that you could take the boats and just slide them on inside for the students to, you know, obviously arrive at Hogwarts, which I think is so cool that they included that. It's it's obviously that size and, and because of to, to fit the boats really, uh, I guess, snugly is, is a better word to, to use there to describe that. But what I love 
And I didn't realize as I'm building this, I'm like, what the heck is this? This is a weird little detail. These little horn pieces here, they're specifically here for you to put the two oars included uh, onto them and have them hanging there for you to then uh, leave. So that is so cool. I did not realize that's what it was while building. Here is the roof again. We're back to dark gray, which I think is the preferred color for most people when it comes to this. Um, you can't remove the roof or anything, but you can unfold them. And I did that just to shine light inside. It doesn't really help you get access to the inside. Like you're able to do that pretty well through the openings and different things uh, for the boats. But yeah, I think that's uh, it's a nice roof design. And I like the little bits of leaves here with the dark greens. That looks nice. And just again, the sloping and the arch up here. Uh, this. I guess interior, it's really small, but what you do is you pull on this little bit here. So here is Godric Gryffindor's portrait. This is actually one of 14 different portraits that you are collecting across this new batch of Harry Potter sets. You can see here in the checklist on the back of the instructions. I, I love this, I think this is great. I love the Nexonite shield prints here. And uh, yeah, I think that just overall, I'm glad that we have something new to collect. And you could also display it this way if you wanted to as well. You just can't really grab onto anything to remove it, but that's how like the back of the box has it displayed, but it's very easy to tip out just to remove. So I think up here at the top of the roof, this is supposed to be a wind vane. So you could sort of angle it and turn it different ways, uh, depending which way you want the wind to be blowing. So yeah, it's, it's nice. You've even got a little bit of sand green. So they're combining the dark gray and the sand green roofs here. Here's Professor McGonagall, and I'm going to go out and say that this is the best Professor McGonagall figure we have ever gotten. I had no clue, again, because a lot of times with Harry Potter, we look at blurry images. That's how they're revealed first. This figure has printing on the arm. That looks so cool. And they also redesigned the torso and the dress. Like, this isn't a reuse, and they just went, yeah, let's give her arms. No, they redid the whole thing. I was looking at the pattern, studi studying it, so that I made sure that it was new. This looks so cool here on the back, the back torso and the back dress printing. Again, they didn't have to do back dress printing, but they did. This is an incredible figure, as well as the accessory of this two by three tile here with all the students arriving, their names, all the, the students in the set. That is so, so great. You even got a wand, of course, for her, and then this uh, dual molded hair piece there with the hat. She's got this smile on one side and then this sort of iconic McGonagall expression on the other. But this is just a phenomenal figure, the best we've gotten. Let's go in order of uh, that list, shall we? We've got Hermione Granger here, which looks great. Uh, I really love this outfit that they've been doing recently with the skirt like that. Just works so well from Trolls in black. And then underneath you've got uh, here this triple molded leg there in dark gray and black that looks amazing. And uh, unfortunately, this figure doesn't have the new Hermione face. If you're hoping to get that here in the set, this is the one that we've had for a while here. She's got this scared expression on the other side. Uh, but this torso, it's before they're sorted. So it's just a generic one and it's shared between each four of the students here in the set. Here is Neville Longbottom and he looks really great. This is actually a brand new Neville. He's got a new face which looks awesome. I love the little expression there, how one eye sort of closed as he's smiling. You could see here on the other side, his, his large teeth just sticking out there and this sort of surprised or generic expression there for him. I love that he got a new face. Here's Dean Thomas, and I'm happy that we're getting him in a set. However, it's strange to me. So the face is actually the one that they use for Lee Jordan in the summer. And it's the same skin color, all that. You could see removing T'Challa's hair piece there on the other side. There's this sort of sad expression. But the fact that it's using the same face, it's the same year. It's just weird. It doesn't make sense to me. I wish that he had a new face and that it would have matched like the skin color that we've been getting for him too. Also, the fact that like they're using the same face for the two black kids from the same year, from the same house? I don't think this works. And last but certainly not least, we have here Harry Potter and this figure, nothing new here at all. Again, all re reuses here for the torso, the face, all that. He's got this scared expression on the other side. There you have it, everyone. That is my review of the Hogwarts Castle Boathouse. I think that I'm a little bit torn. On one hand, I'm like, wow, look at this new McGonagall. And the other four figures, they're great inclusions. 
Nothing too new going on with them besides Neville, but I like that we've got four figures to actually fill up the boats and then the boat system going into the boathouse and all that and the oars. I'm impressed by that and all the little hidden details. I think it's just very small. I don't know why. Why is this so small? Just like the Owlry. The door frames are not to like regular minifigure proportions. I'm confused by this. I, I don't follow the logic and thinking behind that. Just make them a little bit taller, a little bit wider. But regardless, I'm very excited to see how this is going to connect to this Hogwarts castle that they are hyping up. So I can't wait to see that in the summer. So be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on future LEGO Harry Potter set news and reviews. If you want to check out my reviews of the Owl Reel, I'll link that here as well as a playlist of all the other March 1st sets here at the end of the video. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.